Hi guys, today we're gonna to have a little look at a little workaround slash hack for Final Cut Pro 10.6 uh, mask tracking. Uh, first of all, we're gonna to wanna to track the objects. We're gonna add a track. Uh, we're gonna hold down options and select it over the object. And then we're gonna analyze. It's gonna do its thing, tracking it around the screen. Next up, what we want to do is add a generator solid green background and then just trim that down. Then we're going to want to add the track to there and then the object track. Next up, we want to scale that to a 400%. Uh, make sure we no longer get any outside edges. And then what we're going to want to do is open up our mask tool. Okay, I'm going to drop that on. Get rid of transform. And we'll just start with a few points just to get that going. Okay. For the speed of this, I'm just going to use that. Obviously, the more points you do, the neater you cut out, the better this result is going to be. Okay, and then we're going to want to invert that. And then you can see that that is tracking the mask around the object. You can do one or two things. You could have done your edit on that layer there and then, or you can do it afterwards. I prefer to do it afterwards. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the base layer. So I'm going to pop that in between. We're going to then select the two layers and then create a new compound clip. See that's the tracked item. Next up, we're going to just add your Kia to the layer, and then that's that. Just get rid of that. Okay, and then obviously you can just add in your color wheels or whatever, uh, whatever adjustments you're going to be doing. And there you go. That's now tracking your object across the screen with your color corrections or whatever you've used your mask for. And that's as simple as that. I'm sure there will be other ways to do this. Uh, this is my way. Uh, this is what I've found so far. I uh, hope you enjoy, hope it helps somebody. Uh, if you know a better way, leave it down in the comments below and I'll see you soon.